Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another draft site tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, so today we're gonna talk about tools that you're going to wish your current CAD product had, unless of course you have draft site, right? Cool tools that you're only gonna find inside of draft site and you are going to have true feature envy. Oh yeah, let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Now the first one you did hear me talk about before if you listen to all of my tips, it's my absolute favorite command inside a draft site and that is power trim. Let's talk about what you have to do inside of AutoCAD, right? You go in the trim command, first you have to pick all the cutting edges or if you know the trim command really well, you know that you can hit an extra enter and everything becomes a cutting edge if that's what you want. Um, inside of power trim, you don't have to do any of that. You can just start to trim. Oh yeah, you just go. So you go into power trim, you just go trim, 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 trim. And if you hold the shift key down, you'll find that it goes into extend mode, two powerful commands inside of power trim. Very, very easy to use. I absolutely love that. I don't have time to be picking cutting edges or boundary edges, right? Do you? All right, love, love, love power trim. Back when I was at Autodesk, I begged them to put this command. I had was so jealous of it to have them put it inside of AutoCAD. It never happened. I had to write my own Lisp routine. So what else is inside a draft site that you're gonna wish that you had inside of your current CAD tool? TB layer. What is TB layer? This allows you to tell draft site what layer you want the objects to land on. So you can plan ahead. I want all my text to go on a text layer. You decide what layer you want that to be. Uh, you can say, you can tell it what layer you want all your hatch patterns to go on, what layer you want all of your dimensions to go on, or even better, how about your viewports so that they display, but they don't print. Oh yeah, you have complete control over the objects in your drawing so that you don't have to do that little layer hokey pokey where you're always changing the current layer here and there all the time. Save yourself lots and lots of tedium and lots and lots of time. I love it. And if you decide that you don't want to use that predefined layering, you can see that button at the top, click that and it won't do it anymore. Super, super easy. It's going to help you stick to your standards as well. I love that. All right. What else we got? What else you got for me, Lynn? How about auto dimensioning? Hey, AutoCAD has great dimensioning tools, but I used to always say, you know, I want one where I just put a big window around everything and then magic happens and my drawing is dimensioned. <laughs> you almost have that with auto dimensioning because here you're gonna create a bounding box, which is essentially a window around the objects you want to dimension. And then you just go, hey, I want my dimensions to go on this side or that side. I want baseline or I want continue. Very, very simple. That's what I'm talking about. Saves me lots of time. Auto dimensioning. I love it. Cool tools that you're gonna wish that you had. All right, and then um, Image Tracer is one of those tools that I didn't use to talk about until people started sending me tweets going, hey, Lynn, why don't you talk about Image Tracer? Because that was their favorite command. So this allows you to bring in an image like a JPEG, like you see here, and just you know do some basic settings to control what you, how you want it to end up. And then check this out. You'll see that that image became vectors. How? powerful is that? I mean, you think about it, you could bring in a scanned image, right? Now, Autodesk does have raster design, which is a very powerful product that works in conjunction with AutoCAD, but that's a whole separate product, basically. This is a tool built right into draft site, and it's super easy peasy to, to use, and that's what I like, low stress. Right there, very handy. And then last but not least, and this is not all of the cool tools, of course, that are inside a draft site, but some, this particular tool came from SolidWorks. Now, if you recall, SolidWorks, of course, is what brought us DraftSite. SolidWorks is this fabulous 3D modeling software product, and they are the ones who are the, the people, the, they are the company behind DraftSite, right? So inside of SolidWorks is this great, cool tool called Gesture, the Gesture Wheel. It allows you to hold down the right button on your mouse and as you move around, you'll see this wheel shows up like you see on the screen, and it has a variety of tools, up to eight. You can have, if you're not a good shot, you might wanna start with four, but you can have up to eight of your favorite commands, and you get to customize it any way you want, and you just move in the direction of the command that you want. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get good at it, you're gonna go, how did I live without this command? It's true, I'm an addict, a true mouse gesture wheel addict, that is for sure. Uh, you can see, of course, I put power trim as one of my commands. Very easy to customize. 
you won't know once again how you live without the gesture wheel. I am a fan for sure. So those are just a few of the cool tools that you're going to find in DraftSite that you won't find anywhere else. And just, you know, a few more reasons why you should check it out, download the trial, try it for yourself. You can download it for 30 days free, no credit card needed. There's no contract involved. We're not going to hunt you down. <laughs> just give it a try for yourself. You won't believe how easy it is to make the switch over to DraftSite. All right, thanks for joining me. And I hope that you have a great rest of the week. Take care.